Hello YouTube, uh, this is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, and uh, today what I'm going to do is another Audacity tutorial, and this one comes by request by uh, YouTuber Robert Thomas. Um, he asks, I'd like to string some songs together for a demo, not sure how. I need a demo of 8 songs, 40 second segments, blended together. How do I do that in Audacity? And I thought, hmm, that's a good question. I'll make a video on this, and I'll try to have it by, done by tomorrow, which is today. So I'm trying to have it done. And uh, it's really not that hard to do. So let me go ahead and close my web browser so it doesn't eat up all my CPU. And let's go into Audacity. Alrighty. So the first thing we're going to do here is open up one file just to get started. So... What I'm going to use here is I'm going to go to Import Audio. And I have a lot of songs in my Ant Hill Recordings uh, external hard drive here. This is my record label, if you didn't know. Ant Hill Recordings, you should check it out. It's uh, anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. But uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and import a song here. <clears throat> let's just take the first track off of that album. And so that went ahead and imported it. Now let's import a second song. Let's go back into audio. And let's go from a different album. Import my second song. Okay, and as you'll notice, that puts these on two separate tracks. So the first part of the question was he wanted to make 40-second samples. Uh, so this part is, is pretty easy. Just depending on where you want to do it in the song, uh, you basically just highlight all the rest of the stuff aside from those 40 seconds and delete it. So we're going to go ahead and highlight that part and delete it and then we count up to you know 40 seconds which looks like it's about right here and then we highlight the rest and we delete that. So we have a 40 second sample there. Now to do the second 40 seconds it's pretty easy. Just do it here again Okay, so now we have two 40-second samples right on top of each other, and obviously that isn't going to do what we want it to do. So what we're going to need to do is select this little tool here with the two arrows pointing outward, and we're just going to drag this one over here like this. Okay? Once we do that, say you want to do a nifty crossfade in between these. Uh, well, first off, since this we don't want this song to start abruptly, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. and rewind to the beginning and we can just highlight the first you know five seconds of this audio and go to effect and then fade in okay so after we have that fade in uh, taken care of there if we just go ahead and play this back you'll hear a nice smooth uh, fade in for the song Okay. So, now all we have to do is go to the end of this clip, and we select where this uh, second clip starts. And if you, you know, you might have seen this in some of my other tutorials. If you just click right there, you'll see that little yellow flash right there on this wave. And that means that it's kind of snapped to the position of the other waveform. So we just click right there, and then just drag it to the end of this side, and you'll see that yellow line again. And that means it snapped to the end of this. So then we can just go to fade again. We get, this time we go to fade out. So that fades it out right there. Now we're going to select this same area but on the other clip. And we're going to do a fade in. And there you have it. You see the two clips just fade into each other. So just for the sake of uh, you know showing how to do this on more or on just more than two tracks, let's go ahead and add one more. Let's go to audio. Got off of a different uh, album here. Open up this one. And let's go ahead and select 40 seconds of this track. Let's delete out this part. And it's really easy to get the same length track because all you have to do is select where the one, the the original track ended, or you can select the highlight, you know, like from this track 
and just use that as the marker for the other track that you're selecting. Um, so we're going to delete, or I'm sorry, we're going to delete the rest of this from the line of the first track, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling, but I think you get the idea. And then we're going to move this over to the end of the second track. And let's go ahead and zoom in again. And another little tip, what you can do, you can go to View and Fit uh, Vertically. So this way you can see all three tracks or all three channels of Audacity on the same screen. You can zoom out a little bit. And uh, if you're doing this on a lot of songs, and if you keep importing, it's basically going to keep adding tracks going downward. So a way to avoid that, what you can do is you just select the, the regular uh, highlight tool again in Audacity, double click this, and then do a Control X to cut. And then you're going to click up here in track number one and Control V to paste it. And then you can just go ahead and click the X on this track to get rid of that. So that way you're only working on two different channels rather than you know, ending up with like a million channels going down in your Audacity project. This will keep it much more organized and easy to deal with. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same thing we did before. is just highlight this section. And then we're going to go to Effect and Fade In. And then highlight this section below. And Effect. And Fade Out. Okay, and say this is the last song that we want to do a preview of, we can just select the end there and go to fade out again. And then when you're all done, you just go to file and export audio. And let's go, let's just save this on my desktop because it's just a test. Delete this all out of here. Now depending on what you know type of file you want, MP3, WAV, AUG, Vorbis. Uh, let's just do an MP3. And I'm going to make it 128 kilobytes per second. Joint stereo, that's fine. And we're going to do Audacity. Um, what? Uh, previews. Dot MP3. And then click Save. And it says your tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels and exported file, which is exactly what we want. Click OK. Put in your tags here if you want it. I'm not going to mess with that. Click OK again. Then it exports the entire file at 128 kilobytes per second. Now we can close Audacity. And I'm not going to save this, but you probably will want to. OK, so now we're on the desktop here. and. Let's just go ahead and open up that file that we just saved. Okay, and as you can tell, you just heard the transition between the two songs. And that'll give you 40 second preview samples, or whatever length you want to do. Um, you can do that on as many songs as you want. If you want to export those uh, 40 second samples as individual songs, uh, you may want to go look at my other mastering tutorial uh, about Audacity, because that one I show you how to use the label track to export multiple files. Um, I won't go over that in this video. Uh, if you need it, just check out the mastering tutorial, and it's in there. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, thanks to everybody for watching and subscribing. Let me turn that off in case you can't hear me. And uh, thanks to uh, the YouTuber for asking the question and giving me a good topic to make a video about. And take it easy. Later.